Hi, this is Father Todd from St. Mary's. Gosh, I mean, who'd have thunk? You know, what we've experienced over these past couple of weeks, who could have predicted it? And yet, uh, and yet this is where we are. We live in this broken world where unexpected things uh, can kind of throw our plans uh, up into the air. And yet we serve a God who is, uh, who is the God of resurrection and new life and new power. So we don't give in to fear, uh, but we look forward to what it is that God is going to be able to do through us in these uh, different kind of challenging times. And so I'm here to let you know that our worship services are going to be, are going to be moved, all of them, online so that we can participate from the privacy of our own homes and, uh, and still to be able to see the worship experience that we'll, that we'll be able to have together. And so that'll start tomorrow, um, that is Sunday, and then go through the end of March. And then at that time, we'll reassess and see where it is that we go. Um, so we're gonna do all that we can to put all of the resources that we can online. And so we're going to, we're going to be streaming uh, live all five services. And so whichever service you normally attend, you can go to that service, uh, to that time, and you'll be able to find your service. Even the 7.30 service in the morning, you'll be able to come and to be able to join us. And then, uh, and then throughout the week, as we have programs, the Lenten series, other, other things, uh, programs, we'll be able to make those available online as well. So watch for more details, because we want to be able, in this season, we want to be able to... To, to see how families and how individuals and households can be able to, to worship and to be able to support one another in prayer. Uh, While well, your kids are off school for a couple weeks, what is it that you do? Well, there are people who have suggestions about how it is that we can, we can kind of help support one another and encourage each other. And you might even want to be proactive and invite some friends or relatives to come over to your house and to be able to enjoy worship together, or the Lenten series, or one of the other programs that we'll make available. And this is a great time for us as the body of Christ to reach out to others who may be scared or anxious to be able to touch them. So you could do that in your neighborhood and, uh, and to be able to use your telephone and to be able to touch them uh, through the phone and encourage them and strengthen them and help them to be able to know uh, that God loves them. Have you ever prayed for somebody on the phone? If not, uh, this is a great time to give that a chance. Um, I've been able to pray with lots of people over the phone, and people have always found it to be something that's been encouraging and uplifting for them. So how is it that we can, we can reach out into the community around us and uh, in a way that's safe, in a way that makes sense in our current environment, but not surrender to fear or anxiety, to be able to use technology to be able to pass on God's love? Uh, and, and during this seasons like this, uh, your support becomes even more critical. Your positive comments and feedback, your letting us know what's going on out there in your lives, your prayers are critically important, and your financial support. So in my letter that's attached, uh, there is information about how it is that you can continue your contributions. Uh, that's so important for us to be able to keep the programs and the staffing alive and vital. Uh, as we go through these challenging times. We wouldn't be here if it weren't for you. We are so grateful to be able to be a part of such a, a wonderful and, and life-giving community as is St. Mary's. You know, the devil on, the, on Good Friday uh, took Jesus, the Son of God, hung him on the cross, and buried him in the ground and said, Ha! That's it! But then the God of all love raised him from the dead. And ever since then, we've known that death and fear have no hold over us, that we are a people of the resurrection and of hope and of joy. And so we take that spirit and we hand it out to the people who are around us. So how is it that God can use you? How can God bless you? How is it that we can grow together into this new way of being able to relate using technology and all of the other resources that God has given to us? Thank you for being part of St. Mary's, and I look forward to seeing how it is that God is going to take these challenges of ours and turn them into, into deeper experiences of intimacy and spiritual growth. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.